Hi guys, this is Mystique with the Mummy Life Renewed. I am coming to you today with a video. I got a tremendous response on my homeschool planner. So I wanted to do a quick video showing you the inside of my planner and give you a walkthrough through it. So if you're interested in seeing what my homeschool planner looks like, please stay tuned. Okay guys, this is the front cover of my homeschool binder for this 2017-2018 homeschool year and it's Our Living Homeschool. The cover I got from my humble kitchen that is um, Diane Bowman or Diana Bowman, but I'll link the um, website down below in the description box but this is the cover basically i have this little clothespin here and i'm going to show you why i put that clothespin there in a minute <laughs> but um also these are things that i got for basically free i went through all my files on my computer i went through my home to see what i had already so that i did not have to spend any money because i am on this frugal journey and trying to use what I already have. <laughs> and my model this year has been not only becoming renewed, but also simplifying, keeping everything simple. And another model I have this year is slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, I got that from Aesop's Fable, but enough of that. <laughs> On the inside of my homeschool binder here is just the very first page is our registration um you know we live in the state of louisiana and this is just our registration for our private school or non-public school um so that we'll be okay with the state basically <laughs> but also on here is my year at a glance calendar now i got this printable from vintage kids modern world com and it's 2017 2018 one year at a glance calendar for the school year and everything that i have highlighted in blue are our main feast days that we take off for our homeschool um, we do do sabbath schooling we school six weeks on and we take a week off and we take all breaks for all of our major feast days and for our festivals and celebrations and i just have some extra copies here mainly uh, because if i mess up i already have it i can just kind of erase and do it again <laughs> now on this page is a chart of all the days and weeks um, that we'll be schooling our start dates our terms our end dates our planned breaks and just some notes on the end and also at the bottom here i have our appointed times our feast days and our no non moedim celebrations such as uh, hanukkah or feast of dedication and purim and um okay yeah On the next page is our are our courses of study and this is for I have one of these pages for each one of my children and I am teaching kindergarten this year third grade this year fourth grade and I have a ninth grade something this year and as you know I graduated my 12th grader last year and this is just a master homeschool schedule that I typed up just for my reference so that I can transfer it here on this page. Now this page is our weekly schedule and this is just my overall view of what we're doing this year for our main master copy of what we're doing. Um, and this printable was also free. 
um, from myhumblekitchen.com. That's the website address. It's down here below. But like I said, I'll link it down in our description in the description box below. And um, here we have our family work. And now when I say family work, it's just for my younger three children because my my ninth grade son he is completely independent. So he has a separate weekly schedule than they do because of course his he's got to have certain type of courses with he's with him being in high school i will do another video updating you on our changes for my son's ninth grade year okay and here you have family work which is all grades which we do world history world geography and music on mondays and wednesdays and on tuesdays and thursdays we have science nature study and art and of course down here is our independent and mother guided work and I have one for my fourth one a section for my third grader and a section for my kindergarten daughter now here is how I have my binder broken into I have my broke my binder broken into and separated by terms I have three terms here and um, well like what I call quarters so it's quarter one quarter two and quarter three and in between those quarters I have terms so um, so I have the first term the second term the third term fourth fifth and sixth term because we school six weeks on one week off so we have six six week terms basically <laughs> if you can understand that <laughs> but I have my binder broken down by three major quarters with each three months and I'm going to show you what that looks like okay now this is the first quarter the first quarter includes September October and November and then the second quarter is December January and February and then my third quarter is March April and May and then we have a summer session and I'll get into that in a minute but um, the first page that I have after my first quarter folder and this folder believe it or not was a file folder that I just kind of cut and added to my binder I had some labels that I have from the Dollar Tree and I just labeled it one so I know that this is the first quarter and there you go free didn't have to pay anything and it's cute and decorative And I have a quote here from Galatians 6 verse 9. Let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. And that's just a motivation for me so that I can continue forward and keep going. <laughs> so sometimes we need those reminders. Now here is um, term one. Like I said here it has labeled term because Charlotte Mason does terms. And um, this is the first term for the first six weeks that we're doing um, here and um, here you have oh let me tell you where I got this from let me back up a little bit <laughs> I got this printable also from myhumblekitchen.com this is a part of her free planner so you can go check out her website and download it if you if it's pretty if you like it and you want to use it yourself and it's editable that's one thing that I loved about it so here is our recitation, which are our scriptures, our poems, hymns, and I put a section for poems because we're going to learn three poems in this uh, term here. Um, hymns, I haven't decided if we're going to learn hymns because we already sing hymns anyway for our Shabbat on the seventh day. So my children already know quite a few hymns. So um, that's the reason why that one is blank but for our poems our poems come from the language arts program that we do use which i'll share with you in another video and our scriptures are mainly scriptures that we're trying to memorize and we'll recite them at the end of the term so the first scripture we're going to learn is deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4 through 9 we're going through that now and once they memorize that we're going to psalm 23. now here it has folk songs. I don't know any folk songs, so I doubt if we learn any folk songs. I can just either leave that blank or put something else there. Um, for this term, our poet that we're studying is Emily Dickinson. 
the composer that we're studying this term is Joseph Boulon. And for picture study, we're studying the art of African American artists, and we have started with Romare Beard and Shakespeare play. We just haven't gotten around to actually reading the Shakespeare play yet, but I'm sure once we do, I'll just fill that in. And after that is my morning time loop schedule. This I also got for that I've already had, so I didn't have to pay anything. I'm not sure if she has this printable on her website for free or not, but I've already had the morning time planner. So, but you can go to Pam Barnhill's website at edsnapshots.com and you can find her morning time planner there. So I'm gonna put a link in the description box so that you can check out her website as well. So in the morning time, these are the things that we do, and this is what we do daily, and then here is where we do our loop subjects. So every morning I have a morning basket, my version of a morning basket, where we basically get in our scripture and Torah, Bible readings and things like that, our poetry memorization, our composers, and our picture study. So each day we read the Shema, which is Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 through 9, which helps us um, also memorize this scripture as well. But we read it and because it's very important to us in, and in our homeschool. And then we sing the Shema. Then we speak our affirmations. And I basically say it and the children repeat it after me. Then we move into our Bible study and our and or our Torah reading. If we uh, missed our Torah reading, then we'll just do it that day. Mainly we'll go straight into the Bible because we're starting from the book of Genesis and we're going to read through the entire five books of the Torah. And after that, we go into our Hebrew. And what we're starting with now, what I'm starting the children with is learning the Olive Bait. So they'll sing the Olive Bait song and then we'll go each week. We'll study a different character of the Olive Bait. And we are actually on Gimel this week. Okay, basically our literature comes from different literary genres. We do history, historical historical fiction, fiction, nonfiction, um, fantasy, adventure, and so on and so forth. So each uh, book we that we read for our literature read aloud, read aloud comes from the basic the literary genre that we're studying at the at that point in time <laughs> i'm getting tongue tied <laughs> all right for now comes for comes our weekly planner now i have everything tapped off to each month so this is the month of september i'm going to just show you the month of september because it goes through the same thing for each month in this binder so this is just a cover page. Now this I got from the Vintage Kid, Vintage World Modern Kids website. <laughs> and it's just a cover, it says September, and it has a quote by Jim Elliott here. Okay, this is our September calendar, September 2017. And it's basically the full month calendar, and I have one for each month. And um, here it has the month before, and it has the month after. And it also has some notes here if I want to add an artist, composer, habit, handicraft, and poet here. And this actually came from Vintage Kids Modern World. Okay guys, um, this is our weekly schedule and this is my personal planning sheet for what we do each day. Like I said, here is our family work and this is our independent or mother guided work. And it's the same thing. I have four sheets in each month. So that is September, October, November, and then we come to our next term, which is the next quarter is the second one or term two. After that, we have the same thing. I have another quote page here, and it's a Charlotte Mason quote, and it says, Do not let the endless succession of small things crowd great ideals out of sight and out of mind. Like I said, these are quotes that I'm personally putting there for me just so that I can continue to stay focused and encouraged. After that, we have uh, my planning for the next term for the scriptures, poems, hymns, poet study, composer study, picture study, Shakespeare play, and things like that. And then from there, it's the same thing for each month. That's the second quarter. And then here we come to the third quarter. Again, the same thing. 
I have a quote here from Charlotte Mason and it's thought, thought breeds thought. Children familiar with great thoughts take as naturally to thinking for themselves as the well-nourished body takes to growing. And we must bear in mind that growth, physical, intellectual, moral, spiritual is the sole end of education. And this comes from Charlotte Mason's homeschool series, um, book series. And this quote that I did receive, um, I printed it from the, um, what's the website? I'll link the website below because the writing is so tiny I can't really see it. But I'll link it down in the description box below where I got these quotes from. And again, there's the third, third uh, term there. And then we have the same thing, the calendar pages and things like that. Now, on the very back is basically forms that I have that I'm trying to keep up with, like lesson trackers, because we are using the good and the beautiful for language arts for my kindergarten and my third grade and my fourth grader and for my ninth grader. So this is just a course book lesson tracker that we have a group on Facebook and some of the awesome moms there have put together some printable pages. So these are some of the printable pages that I got from our group in the good and the beautiful community. And this is just a lesson tracker for my kindergartner. I have one for my third grader. I have one for my fourth grader. And I have one for my ninth grader. And then I have my son's... Oh, I went back too far. I have my oldest son's, my ninth grade son's, uh, schedule options for his world geography here. Just so I can have a reference. So when I'm scheduling out his um, information on his planner basically I'll have it here. Now I'm going to do a separate video on his student planner because I don't have it listed. I don't have it printed out and placed into this homeschool binder but what I do is I put everything into his own personal student planner and I will show you a video on that at another day. Okay and here is his one year schedule for his first and second semesters in this like I said this is for his world geography and if you watched my previous video on our homeschool choices for ninth grade you know that he's using North Star geography for world geography and after that we have his apology of biology schedule so that like I said I can have a reference so I'll know what he's supposed to do on each day and basically that's it besides the course companion for our good and the beautiful language arts that's what i have in this back pocket that's basically all that i have in my planner like i said i am pushing for simplicity this year and i don't want to be so stressed out with using my planner so that i can become so stressed out when i'm homeschooling our children <laughs> But also I forgot to mention the reason why I have this paper clip here on my binder right here. If you can see that my camera, there it is. It's because this is coming up right here. So I thought it was cute to just add this little cute little clothespin here so that my planner page flags won't fall out. That's all it is. And it came, it looks very decorative on there. So I figured it was cute. So I added it not knowing that hey it's trying to hold together my plastic uh here so that my page flags won't fall out see i improvised and i did it with style <laughs> but thank you so much if you enjoyed this video please thumbs up please if you have not subscribed to my video please click that button below and subscribe it's free and i look forward to chatting with you soon make sure you take care shalom Peace and blessings. Bye.